In today's survival let's play, we travel to a dead village and fix its economy. We give villagers brand new jobs, which makes everything very nice. We also come across finding a brand new pet. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna need some ideas for what to name it. So let me know in the comment sections. Second, if you're watching my videos like this, take a moment, turn it this way, click that subscribe button and go back to watching the video. Also, let's see if we can reach four likes on today's video. And if we do, maybe you won't get bad luck like this guy. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Star Let's Play. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support everyone's been showing on uh, this series. It really is mind blowing. So uh, I personally want to say thank you to all of you who are supporting the series and supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So as you guys can tell by the intro to this video, we are going to be fixing the economy of one of our local villages that we checked out in episode two. So if you haven't seen episode two and are curious to see what that village looked like, go ahead and check it out. There's a playlist down below in the description. But you guys are really enjoying the whole guess how many challenge that I'm leaving guys in the past two episodes So because today's uh, challenge is going to be with villagers I'm gonna be asking you guys. I thought about it this time. So I got the smarts I got prepared. How many villagers do you think is currently in the village that we're about to go to? There is essentially a nice wall that's protecting our villagers from any potential threat now One thing I want to do though is I thought about it. I should make an anvil which I did and uh, yeah We should probably uh, put ourselves our brand new pickaxe that we have and make it a f what isn't this a fit oh okay wait it's already but we should rename it at least so i was thinking of naming this one uh ed ed the pick uh, let me know what you think about that. I'm gonna and I'm gonna make it like that like pipe I eh, you know a pick. We'll make it like that Ed the pick. Okay, this is going to be <laughs> I Don't know why but I really want to name it Ed the pick so we have Ed the pick you guys Let me know in the comment sections that I just randomly made up a name you guys come up with a name for the diamond sword And I will pick the best name for the next episode. We're gonna leave our efficiency book here uh, Rest in peace book. You are really no use to us right now. I haven't done anything regard to the campsite However, we're gonna be going to the village and my brain was thinking how do we go from the campsite to the village and I really thought about it and I finally realized it was in front of me the whole time let me show you what I mean all right so yeah it uh, it kind of sparked an idea as you can tell there is a river and I didn't really think about much about what we're gonna do with this river until I got on the boat and then I thought about it and if you keep following this river it directly leads you to the village How awesome is that? Let me know in the comment sections what I should do alongside this river Obviously it cannot stay like this We have to make it look amazing because it's pretty much going to be leading to the kingdom I'm figuring that I want to name this village the kingdom. Uh, let me know in the comment sections your your ideas on that uh, But yeah, so as you can tell I broke this area over here. We got to definitely fix that it doesn't look too good Oh our boat is sinking. No. Oh, no Wait, what? Since when do boats sink? Too much water. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. That was a Titanic moment. Boat is back, so that's good. But as you guys can tell, look, uh, we have another boat here because I came a few times. But check out the progress. This is insane. This took me about three hours almost. I, I, I don't even. I don't even count. I mean, how, is there a villager in here? I swear I thought I saw a villager. Uh, no, I'm wrong. But this took me way too long. I'm not even lying. So uh, the best part about all this is now we have all of our villagers completely safe from any potential threats out there, which is super nice. We have a few villagers in here already, but they don't have any jobs. And as you guys can tell today, we have to fix the economy because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of non-working villagers. And you know what that means? The economy is just not happening. So we are going to go ahead. What are you going through my barrels for? Out, out, go, go, go find yourself someone else to bother. <laughs> All right, we gotta, we have to give other people jobs. All right, stop opening the barrels. <laughs> we have a few things that we're definitely gonna wanna make. I wanna have a cartographer village, which if we don't know, it's pretty simple to make. Uh, we need sugar cane. That's one thing we need because we need paper. And luckily there's plenty of sugar cane around this village. This place is going to be crazy. Oh yeah, and this is our friend, the golem here. He doesn't like me apparently. Uh, long story short, I think I might have uh, hit him by accident as I was trying to build the wall He was just coming and sneaking up on me So usually what I try to do is I, I try to be really nice to him and I'll toss him like uh, a little bit of iron So 
yeah, that's how that's our friendship right now. Hopefully it improves. What I've been trying to do is to make our cartography table, which is really simple to make. I wonder how many of you guys actually built uh, some of these workshop stations. Now, this is a really neat one to have because essentially with this, your villager can give you maps, quests, frames, banners, whatever you want, depending on how often you trade with him. So I think that's pretty nice. All right, so the next thing I want to make is very important is a librarian. So we do have a few bookshelves. All we need is one bookshelf and then we need ourselves some slabs and oak planks, I'm pretty sure. So all you do is you put the bookshelf in the middle. Pretty sure you put slabs on the bottom and then one, two, three. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I don't know why I completely messed that up. It's three on the top and one on the bottom. Okay, don't freak out in the comment sections. I figured it out. There we go. We have our lectern. So now essentially we can have ourselves a librarian, which is pretty nice. Uh, the next thing I want to do is make ourselves tool composter for our farms, which are in pretty bad shape. I'm not going to lie. They're in really bad shape. The next thing we want to do is make a tool smith, which is really simple. We have plenty of iron for that. So what we're going to do is, you know what? We'll make two tool smiths. How about that? Uh, maybe we get a few more villagers who want to be a toolsmith, which works in our favor. Now, you know what? Maybe we'll do a few more. Let's just do three. Three toolsmiths is pretty nice because essentially a toolsmith is going to give us what it says in the title, tools. And they're really nice tools. So that is a very nice thing. We're going to have a loom. Essentially what this guy does, has some wool, uh, whatnot, makes a few other dye and other things like that. So it's, it, it is pretty decent. All right. So yeah, we have ourselves a pretty solid amount for workstations. Villager. You're taking my bed too? No, no, no. That's not how it works. That's not, that's definitely not how it works, my guy, okay? That's my bed. You guys have other beds to use. That's my bed, okay? Let's go give some villagers jobs. The kingdom is going to be thriving once again. So, all of you guys, come ahead and pick your jobs, okay? I have plenty of jobs for you to pick from. Uh, you go ahead and you pick the best job here. Uh, let's put our lectern over here. Uh, voila. All right, villagers, go. Oh, okay. We have a clerk already. Pretty nice. Not gonna lie. We have a cartographer. We have a butcher. Okay, very nice. Uh, hopefully this guy picks it. Oh, a toolsmith. How many villagers do we have? One, two. What's this guy? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. So far, four villagers we have. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, and there might be a few more. So if you guys guessed between... Eight and ten villagers, I will go ahead and uh, leave a heart next to... Oh, wait. That's definitely eight over there. Probably have a few more. Eight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Roughly eight to nine villagers. I will give you guys the star of approval. All right. I think we have our villager. What are you, a farmer? That is actually a very, very good thing you got going on over there, good sir. All right, let's go ahead and put some composters around the farms because they do need a lot of work. As you can tell, these are in horrible shape. I don't know... Who is the farmer around here? But they have to get fired, or at least we got to find a new guy. Let's go ahead and put one more toolsmith because, like I said, oh, grindstone and a grindstone. If anyone wants to become toolsmith or a weaponsmith, go ahead. Let's see. What do we got here? A butcher. Any other new workers? Uh, cartographer, toolsmith, shepherd. We got plenty of... Oh, farmer. Are you the guy that's doing a bad job here with the farming? Because there's... Let me tell you. There's, oh, this is definitely the farmer. All right, let's go ahead and fix up our farms here because they are in, honestly, awful shape. And once we put a little bit of dirt, they'll be able to fix it. Pretty sure that's how it works. Let me show you guys what I have in mind for the walls real quick. Alrighty, so as you guys can tell, we're outside the walls, which is a very dangerous place to be. But essentially, all the walls are going to look uh, a replica like this. And I also wanted to add a few more things to it. So, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment sections. I'm still having a little bit of uh, tinkering to do with this wall design. But it's not wanting to go the way I want it to go. Let's see it like that. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment sections what you think about that. But it'll essentially go across the wall all the way around. I think I'm going to have to fix it up and add a little bit more design to it for sure. But today's episode is not all about that. Like I said, we want to give all these villagers something, uh, pretty much a job. But I really want to check on this guy. Do you want to be friends, dude? Are you friends with me now? Are we cool? Are we Hold on. Are we cool? Oh, we might be okay. All right, we're definitely okay. Okay, I will let you out. I am so sorry. I think, uh, you know, we had a rough start, rough patch. But, uh, yeah, I've been pretty... Go check out your village, my guy. I pretty much made it look really nice. You are free to go. Look, look, you are free to roam around. You, you are free, all right? 
We're gonna call him Steve the Golem, okay? I wish I had a name tag. But, uh, yeah, he seems really friendly with me now. I'm pretty happy. I I'm happy we worked out our friendship, which is a which is a good thing. Okay, lastly but not least, I want to go ahead and find ourselves a pet because you guys have been saying, hmm, maybe we should definitely have a pet animal and a pet hut. So that's what we're going to do right now. We gave our uh, villagers uh, jobs, which is fantastic. But now what we need is we need a pet wolf. So that is something I'm really excited to find. Oh, man, they're busy at work. Absolutely doing... Let's see what trades we have, though. We haven't really... Uh, notice this guy we definitely can trade a lot with so that we can improve his trades uh, Cartographer paper for emeralds. These are some decent stuff here. I'm not gonna lie. This is some decent stuff All right, you guys do your thing. Oh wait, is this a trap villager? Oh, no, it's not So what do you do? Oh, you're another okay. You're another toolsmith Pretty nice, my guy. Let's go ahead and find ourselves an animal that we can actually make a pet. So I just got back from going back to the campsite because I needed some more food. And I came back and then all of a sudden, now there's two golems. We have Steve the golem, but then we have... Who the heck is this guy and where did he come from? He's on top of here. Wait, what? Am I missing out on something that I don't know about? Like, if the economy increases, is there more protection in the village? Like, what... Is going on okay, but hey, it, it, I'm okay with it. Not uh, hey, I'm totally cool with it. It's better. It's better for us. But I saw a uh, a wolf up in the hills over here. There's more of you guys. It's a pack of wolves. Can we can we find a pack of wolves? Oh, they're still thinking. They're still thinking. Wait, don't they want bones? Am I? I, th I think they want bones. I, I honestly think they want bones. I'm just thinking about this. I have a feeling the comment section is pretty much going ballistic right now. All right, let me go and find some bones, all right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think it would make sense, right? Like, any normal dog would want a bone, but also, like, all right, I'm just, let's just go get some bones. Alrighty, so we have five bones. We're back at the village. Uh, I really hope this works out because if this doesn't work out, like I said, this is going to be a misery. All right, wolves, I have... Your bones. Oh, so now you're interested. Oh, okay. Okay, so now you might be interested, right? We have ourselves a uh, we have ourselves an actual pet now, guys. So he's, he should be following us, I'm pretty sure. I know it's tough. You're with your friends. I get it. But come on, let's go. Let's go to the village. I got a cool village to show you. There we go. Guys, please pick out a name in the comment sections for our new pet friend over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we should name it, but you guys going are going to decide for the diamond sword. And also, um, I want to get a pet name for our our wolf over here. I am really happy with the way today's episode turned out. It was definitely action-packed. We were able to rebuild the economy. We still have a lot of work to do with this village, and uh, I would love to get your suggestions. We're definitely going to have to add more buildings in the village. So all of you guys, let me know down below in the comment sections. Other than that, guys, I really appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest videos. And if you are new and just checking out episode 4, there is a playlist so you can go check out and catch up. Thanks again for watching. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.